Today I'll share with you the easiest way how you can set up and install the Facebook Pixel plus the conversion API for server-side tracking for your Shopify and WooCommerce store. And I will give you a free and a paid option for WooCommerce and then a free option for Shopify. And this is everything you need to have proper tracking so you can scale your ads efficiently. And since I hate lengthy tutorials and I think everybody else too, I will put some timestamps in the video below and I would say we get right started. So I would recommend starting off in the Ads Manager, so we can navigate to the Events Manager and then create a pixel or take the dataset ID for these plugins that we're going to use. So once you are in the Ads Manager, you just go here to All Tools and you will navigate to Events Manager. Then you will find yourself in the Overview, but you actually need to go right here to Data Sources. Then you see all your pixels listed and maybe you don't have one, then no problem at all. You just click on the green create button and create a new pixel and then it's there. The important thing is that you copy this data set ID right here. You just click on it and then you take it because we need to use that. So the plugin actually knows what ad account and what pixel you're referring to and can actually connect the store to Facebook. Now that you have your pixel ID, let's go to the WordPress backend and install a new plugin for the tracking. So you will find this right here in the bottom. It's called plugin section and in the plugin section you just click on like install a new plugin and now you just type in right here meta pixel and it's this one so it's by facebook you just install it and once you've installed it you can go right here to install plugins and you will find it somewhere around here so here it is and then you just click on settings it will ask you to actually link up your Facebook account, you can just continue. And now this is the most important step because here you need to select the right ad account and the right pixel. Of course, apart from that, please also select the right business manager, Facebook page, Instagram profile and everything else. But the most important things are the ad account and the meta pixel. Then you just click on next and then the thing is set up. And now this is the second option for WooCommerce stores that I usually prefer because it has more data options. So you can also connect like GA4, you can also connect your TikTok ads and everything else. And it's also better tracking in my opinion. So so this is called Pixel Your Site, it's paid, I think it's around like $100 or $110 per year, but it's definitely worth it. So you can buy this on this website, then you just go back to your WordPress backend and you install the Pixel Your Site plugin. After installing Pixel Your Site, you will see it in the bottom left of your screen right here with the plugins. You can just click on it and then you will be able to open up the settings of the plugin, especially in the tab Your Meta Pixel. So you will click on that and then you will be able to actually paste the pixel ID which we got in the first step right here in this field meta pixel formerly Facebook pixel ID. In addition to that I also recommend enabling the conversion API. You will see this toggle switch right here in the top and then you will find this field right here in the bottom conversion API and now we need to get this token so you are able to activate the conversion API which will allow you to activate the server side tracking. And this means your server, your store also sends back data from like orders and everything in the backend if the Facebook Pixel plugin, the website plugin, is not able to track it. And this is just a new data layer, another data layer to enhance your tracking and optimize your ads. So definitely install that and I will show you now how you can get this conversion API token. Go back to the events manager and once you're back, click on manage integrations under your Pixel. Then you will be able to select like conversions API and click on start sending events from server. You just go through this process and you click like generate access token. And once you click on generate access token, you will get this string of numbers that you need for the plugin. So you click on that, save this somewhere, and then you go back to pixel your site in your WordPress backend, and you will actually paste it right here in the conversion API field. And then it's done, like you're ready, you're set, and you can actually start scaling ads. This is the second way of installing the Facebook Pixel. I recommend that because in addition to the Facebook Pixel, which also tracks better, you can also install like the Google Analytics, the Pinterest tag, TikTok, everything like that, even like Google Ads. And I would recommend that you try this Pixel plugin. It's just a hundred bucks a year, but it's definitely worth it. Now let's take a look at the steps for the Shopify store. So just go to Shopify App Store and search for the plugin Facebook and Instagram. By the way, you can also do this in the Shopify store directly by just clicking on the search bar, typing in the name Facebook and Instagram, and then clicking on like App Store, and you will be guided to the same page right here. Click on Facebook and Instagram, make sure it's the meta symbol right here. You click on install, and then you have the Facebook Pixel and Instagram plugin installed. So go back to your Shopify store, and then just type in the search bar Facebook and Instagram, so you will be able to open up the plugin. So once you open the plugin for the first time, you will be guided through a setup process. It's very easy and convenient. Just make sure you select the right ad account, the right pixel, and then you're set. 
The only other important thing that you need to do right here in the settings tab of this plugin is actually scroll down a bit and go to share data. Usually this is set on standard and standard is not the way to go because you don't have the conversion API activated. You need to change this to maximum because with maximum you allow server side tracking and Facebook again can go beyond the website events which are often blocked by like ad blockers and everything and will actually be able to take a look at the store, send back data, have everything from the server side and will be able to track much better which allows for better optimization and then also higher scale for your ad account. So definitely do this, make sure it's maximum right here make sure it's tracked with the right pixel. Sometimes you need to change this, maybe you try a new pixel or you just selected the wrong one in the first step, then you can change it right here and then you're really set up. And yes, it's easy as that. So you just set it up in like five minutes or so and then you will have proper tracking and you will have all the necessary data to scale your ads profitably and efficiently. I hope this tutorial was insightful and if you have any questions or feedback on the video or you wish to see something else in future videos, please drop them down below in the comments and I will try to cover them in a future video. Apart from that, I'll see you in the next one.